Okay, this is a really special book review I want to do today. It's a review on Insight, Understanding Your Motivational Gifts by my brother Alex Bricker. And, uh, well, that's the main reason it's really special to me. The other reason is because um, I got involved with him a couple years ago and took their assessment. Uh, he runs this ministry and... Uh, it's called Life Outfitters. It's at lifeoutfitters.com. And I took their motivational gifts mix, uh, their test. And uh, what I want to emphasize is that there's a big difference between following your passion, following your passions, and following your gifts, or operating in your passion or operating in your gifts. And that's like two totally different things. And I see a lot of motivational speakers and books telling you to follow your passion and the money will come and all this and that. And the the thing I learned from Alex and Ken, Ken Hornbeck, who was the, the developer of this motivational gifts mix, this ministry, to help people find what their true gifts are, uh, gifts that are given to you by God, you know, at birth, um, is that you know, you can follow your passions, but your passions will always change throughout your life. And I, I can attest to that because one year I might be passionate about, you know, motorcycles. And then, you know, a couple of years down the road, my my passions fade and now I'm into cars. Or let's say, um, I, like for me, uh, an example of something I was interested in at one time, I was very passionate about day trading you know I wanted to learn the art of day trading and forex trading and uh, at one time before that it was internet marketing and I today I still love internet marketing but um, I'm finding that if you operate out of your gifts that those gifts don't ever go away there's something given to you by God and if we can learn how to move forward in that direction it's something that can be very lasting and that's, I think that's something that we're all looking for. So anyways, um, here's the assessment that I took. And what I discovered is that my motivational gift, my main one, is a cheerful heart and organized leader. Those are my top two. And then the other gifts that we have are um, researching teacher, cautious contract, contributor, bold proclaimer, enthusiastic encourager, and relentless server. So we have like seven top, uh, seven gifts that we can operate in. And um, let me just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven gifts. And my top two are cheerful heart and organized leader. And so for me, what that says for a cheerful heart it, it means I'm I like mercy nurturing I'm compassionate tender-hearted caring sensitive gentle empathetic artistic emotional and kind it says that I seek to emotionally seek to emotionally support people especially those who are hurting and then my second gift my second highest gift is organized leader so that would be like orchestrator organizer administrator, coordinator, overseer, visionary, systematic, achiever, director, goal-oriented, willing to stand in front and take charge, seeks results through orchestration of people, projects, and resources. And then there's the other five gifts down here. But uh, anyways, those are my top two. And what I found is that I am a very tender-hearted person, and I like to um, help people, especially people that are hurting. It's very true. Um, it was kind of like an aha moment. Yes, I do. And uh, I've just, I've been through a lot of things in my life that make me sensitive to, you know, hurts that people have gone through in their lives. And so it's just something that has never gone away. And I've always felt that way. And so it, it gives you a lot of insight into your gifts and, and what they do. Uh, you know, comforting others who need unconditional love to feel genuinely valued as an individual uh, let me get back here some more. So, 
this is the cool part right here. It gives you suggested ministry roles, suggested careers, and suggested education. And so, um, like suggested careers, a cheerful heart. Elderly care, nursing, cosmetology, arts, music, drama, social work, counseling, uh, preschool, health care, caring for animals, not-for-profit groups, listening jobs, people jobs, teaching, hospice, decorating, merchandising, fashion design, media design, mental health, retail sales, wait staff. And I could see myself in several of those roles. Um, but uh, I've always wanted to work with people and just help people that are hurting and I can see how this would be a great fit for me. And the more I try to move in that direction, the less I'll get burnt out on, you know, fulfilling my, my role in life. Not necessarily my passion, but my gift. And so what I want to encourage people to do is get this book called Insight, Understanding Your Motivational Gifts, so you can learn to, um, you can figure out what your gifts are from God and who you truly are and learn to function in those gifts instead of just following your passion. I think it's okay to have passions, but if you can follow your gifts, you're going to operate um, at your highest calling. Anyways, uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful ministry. And I've actually, I've never really forgotten the lesson that I learned, which is um, passions fade, but gifts remain and they last. And so... Um, let me just read a little bit from the introduction here. Do you ever feel unfocused, confused, frustrated, bored? Maybe you feel you're not making a difference in life. How about your church, your business, or your family? Have you worked with a team just to find out no one is getting along and they don't get how you operate? Why can't they see the things you see? Maybe you find yourself exhausted with work, a lack of energy, and a heart that wants to quit it all. Maybe you've um, thought about making a career shift. You're not alone. We live in confusing times. America tends to go through the ups and downs of political polarization and indecisiveness. 75% of U.S. adults are struggling with living a meaningful life, and 45% of those are afraid of making the wrong career choice. Whew, wow, I can relate. People often regret decisions they've made. I wish I would have majored in engineering instead of finance, or I wish I would have majored in lin linguistics instead of philosophy. College majors aren't the only issue. I wish I would have taken that job in North Carolina instead of North Dakota or vice versa. I feel stuck in a job I don't like, etc. Or with relationships. I wish I would have asked so-and-so out instead of remaining single. Or I wish I was single instead of married. The human condition is full of I wish and if onlys. Ever met anyone like this? Have you ever said or thought those things? You're not alone. Many people find themselves confused or stressed about their present situation or circumstances. You may have a lot of money or a little, and yet you feel worried, frustrated, and perplexed about why you find yourself in the same situation. And I'll stop there for a second because I have been in a situation, I've been with a lot of money and without money. And uh, when I was making the most amount of money, more than I ever dreamed I would make, um, yes, I was happier with money, but... Did I feel like I was fulfilling my my um, destiny in life or my calling? Not really. I felt like I was trapped, you know, like I was trapped in that office, you know, like a 12 by 12 office in a chair all day long and my back is sore and is this all I'm ever going to do is come to work every day and sit here for 8 to 10 hours, you know, busting away when my real calling is to be helping people, which is where, where my gifts lie and... Uh, you know, helping those who are hurting and eventually you know I hope I, I can find my way into that ministry role until now you know I'm going to do things like this and try to help other people realize that um, you know you need to follow your your dreams and your um, your gifts rather than your passions because you'll do better in the long run why can't you keep a job why can't you pick a major that suits you? Granted, there are times and places where things to you, regardless of any choice you make, where things happen to you regardless of any choice you make. However, life is chock full of choices. You may feel stuck, unfulfilled in your day, volunteer position, or life in general. You have traversed the methods of the world, the multiple ventures, what other people say you should 
should be followed by a media barrage of decisions. However, let me ask you, what does God want you to do with your life? Well, and that's what this book is about. Um, Alex says, that's why I wrote this book. I wrote this to help, bless, and encourage those in their faith journey, their life journey, your life journey. Specifically, I hope and pray God will reveal your motivational gift mix to you so you can do two things. Make wise decisions by using the MGM assessment as a filter, and two, to serve others in your life and influence them as directed by Scripture. I have found that when people begin to understand how they're wired and what motivates them, they can find a sense of meaning and purpose in making God-directed, Spirit-led, and Jesus-focused decisions. It is my mission to help others gain insight, wisdom, and understanding about their God-given motivations, especially in relation to loving God and loving others in the body of Christ. The insight you will gain by understanding how God made you and those around you will bring peace to relationships that once were stressful. Even understanding that you don't understand is a move in the right direction. May God open your eyes to understanding your motivational gifts. But all things become visible when they are exposed to the light. For everything that becomes visible is light. Ephesians 5.13 And Alex just kind of nailed it right there for me. Um, when you uh, begin to understand how you're wired and what your gifts are, you're going to be much more motivated and passionate about what you do and follow your, your calling. And that's where your real motivation is going to lie. And when you can awake that motivation, that's when you're going to become happiest and feel you're most fulfilled in your spirit when you're you're um, following God's true calling for your life. But you got to understand what your gifts are because that's where your motivation lies. Because if you're in a job that you're doing great at or maybe you're not doing great at, either one, and you just feel stuck like you're not, you know, living your, living out your calling, you know, you're probably not following your your gifts or um, operating in your gifts. So what I want you to do is um, I'm going to put a link below the video to this book so you can pick it up online on Amazon. And um, this is just a wonderful book. And please leave your comments if it helps you. I, I'll never forget what I've learned from taking the assessment and the things that I've learned from Alex and Ken through their um, wisdom and their insight. Uh, the link is going to be below the video. Every link I post on uh, YouTube usually is an affiliate link, so I do make a small commission, and if you buy through my link, I want to thank you. But more importantly, uh, I want to encourage you to do, to take the assessment, to read the book, and find out what it is you need to be doing to get your life better and operating in your gifts where you can find true motivation, not just um, like follow your passion, but then you will become more passionate about what you do if you're operating where you're supposed to be operating. So uh, if you like my video, um, hit the like and subscribe button right below, please. And uh, follow the link and get this book and um, leave us some good reviews. Leave Alex a good review on Amazon if you would. He's my brother. I love him a lot. He's got a great heart for the Lord and um, he just loves helping people. And this ministry has helped me and um, I am just doing my best to follow uh, their guiding and, and doing what God wants me to do with my life, even just making this video. You know, I hope it helps other people. And um, anyways, again, hit the like and subscribe button. Go get this book. It'll change your life. All right. God bless.